Hi guys, John Moore with you again. Um, this time we're doing the first build update of the British 25 pounder field gun and quad gun tractor inverted in the brackets then Canadian Ford FGT. Uh, it's a Tamiya kit, it's a 135th scale and it's kit number uh, 35044. So far it's turning out to be a lovely, lovely kit. It really, really is. Um, fit is perfect, absolutely perfect. So instead of just talking about it, let's see uh, what I've what I've done. Um, I started, as the instructions say, on the tractor unit itself. Now there it is put together, but it's not glued, uh, obviously, because I want to get in there for painting and things. But it builds up quite nice. Um, you got the uh, spare wheel. You the canvas cover, and there's the the top. I haven't got the glass in yet because I'm going to paint the inside of that there, um, and then fit in the glass. Then um, mask it all off, and then I can do the outsides um, because I want to get the inside, the interior done as well, which uh, very carefully lifts off. There's the interior, quite nicely detailed, um, seats and all that kind of thing. Um, like I said, no fit issues, no problems with anything whatsoever. Um, no flash, no zooming on my camera. Zoom you piece of, I don't know. Uh, uh, take my word for it, it's, it's lovely. <laughs> uh, it it fits together absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a little engine I haven't uh, fit that in yet because I don't know whether I'm going to kind of paint it up and detail it up. Well, I'm not going to detail it. I'm not going to put any wires or anything on it. There's uh, the the space inside there is very 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 minimal. But I can you know paint it up nice at least you know. Um, and you've got all the. Uh, the suspension and the the workings underneath the drive shafts and all of that uh, and the exhaust which pops into the engine for a finish so it, it's um you know it, it's a lovely detailed piece uh, there's um even though there's small parts and they fit together nicely they fit together absolutely beautiful without any major cleanup. Um let's have a, an old skin at the instructions. There's a mistake of moving up. I haven't put that, applied them yet as you can see I'm waiting for a new board. Point and stick it faded away to nothing so I got this yeah there you go cover them over like that. With the new ones and I'm not going to stick in the new ones but. but anyway the instructions themselves they're very very easy to follow. It's in a booklet form which is nice. Um, and it gives great, uh, great reading, basically, on the front and here. It gives some nice details on the uh, the vehicles themselves. A photograph of one and a photograph of a crew. Um, the instructions, as I said, they're step by step. They're so simple. Very, very little clean up on the parts. Um, everything goes together nicely. Um, as you see, I put a circle around each thing that I've done. Um, I missed out some from here, but they're, they're done. The way, the way things. I haven't done the windows, but I have this this piece put in, which is a yoke there. I put in. Come over here, put on the cross members on. I haven't done the doors on yet, because like I said, I want to be able to get in there for painting. If I put the doors on, it, it won't be that easy, but I'll do the inside of the doors. It's just separate paintings, as you know yourselves. And then just assembly that. And then it's on to the gun. I have to do one or two minor changes to the gun. Um, the sight apparently is wrong and also there's a counterweight on the barrel which shouldn't be there or it's a different shape or something. I gotta double check. Um Mr. Ennis Anderson, thank you very, very much. He's he's uh he's, he, he seems to be my research assistant on this one. He's doing some great research for me. And he found out that the, this this actual model of the 25 pounder wasn't used in Africa at all, even though they give it to you on the kit in the African thing. 
uh, it's it's old to me obviously uh, they were just giving you they gave you a kind of a, a 25 pounder which was accurate and uh, equipment and all that which is accurate but putting them together back in the 70s and the early 80s that was okay no longer um, people want them specific you know so um, you got to do the changes yourself if you want that particular model um, so that's the gun. Then you've got the uh, the limber carriage. You know the gun for the uh, thing that gives you some nice uh, ammo storage for it. And then it's down to the painting. So I'm in two minds now at the moment whether to crack on and get this painted, and then move on to the um, the gun, and then move on to the uh, the limber. So I can have that sort of set and put away, because it's a kit. Basically, it's a kit in itself. So um, I might do that. Um, you know, paint up the inside of this, get it all masked off for the paint on the outside, get all the undercarriage done, and get it painted and uh, just put aside, not weathered, nothing, and then weather the three items together. So I think I'm that's the way I'm going to go on that. So anyway, that's my quick update, lads. Not, not a great amount done, but uh, recommendations for the kit is a definite yes. Compared to the last couple of kits that I purchased that weren't the best and weren't uh, bad fit and everything else, I, I'm delighted to get a kit that just, a shake and bake, as we call it, that just sits in together perfectly. Some of those pieces um, fitted in there and I didn't even have to bloody well glue them, you know. Uh, I did glue them, but if you know what I mean, they clicked in. Uh, so, 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 so perfectly. It, it, it's, uh, it's amazing compared to the last couple, like I said. Anyway, that's, that's my update. I'll leave it at that. Uh, short and sweet, like myself. Although I'm not that short, and I'm definitely not that sweet. So, I'll catch up in the next one, lads. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for more. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and uh, by subscribing you kind of um, get updates <clears throat> on when the next little bit is being done to this thing if you're interested in this at all because um, I am I, I find this a, a fascinating little piece this is from my operation torch group build which started on the first of this month and finishes on the 30th of June we extended it by a month um, and there's quite a few entries in already I was just looking at uh, Mr De Costa's entries entry this morning and uh, that looks to be quite impressive as well so let's uh, stay tuned like I said don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can uh, be there for more further updates and things okay let's catch you up later on uh, be nice stay safe and don't forget my motto just go out and buy a kit and build it Forget about the waffle, build it and enjoy it. That's what it's there for.